kababayan, today ako po yung inyong host na si G. Tanji and we are live in Los Angeles. We are taking your calls. Tawagan niyo po kami, libre po yan. Yan po yung numero sa screen ninyo, 1-800-553-5724. And did I say it's free to call? All right. We have Anna from Los Angeles tumatawag sa atin. Hello, Anna. Hi, magandang hapon. Magandang hapon. Ah, yeah. Dati na po akong tumawag sa inyo nung ako, ako po ay may kaso sa asawa ko ng domestic violence. So, oh. nanalo po ako sa aking kaso. Na, ay, congrats po! Ay, salamat po. Ako po ay nakapaghintay ng anin na buwan. So, ngayon po, ang sabi po ng aking abogado, ay dinala na daw po sa immigration ang aking uh, papeles na naman at ako daw po ay maghihintay uli ng anin na buwan. E, ay, ang tanong ko po ngayon ay, ito po bang uh, nasa immigration na po ang aking uh, Uh, papeles ngayon, ako po ba ay uh, mabibigyan na ng aking uh, green card? Ma makukuha ko na po ba ito after six months? Yes, okay. Uh, go ahead, Anna, Allison. Can I ask you a question as to, um, uh, there's different type of visas for individuals who are victims of domestic violence. There's either the U visa or the um, special immigrant petition. And so, do you know if which one you submitted, whether it was for the U or for the special immigrant? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Hindi ko po, ma'am, alam yung nanonong abogado po, ma'am. Eh. Okay, okay, so she, she so doesn't know. Just generally speaking, mm -hmm. um, there, there, there are those two categories. And so the best, Anna, that I could tell you is you really need to just ask your attorney which one you applied for. But generally speaking, there is that U temporary visa that allows individuals to obtain a temporary status here in the United States. Um, that eventually will lead to a green card, but it does take a longer period of time, especially since there are limited number of U visas, and so it does take a while in order to get to the top of that waiting list and then get the U visa and then get the green card, but that does eventually turn into the green card. Otherwise, there's that special immigrant um, category or the Victims Against Violence of Women's Act under VAWA. And that process, if that's the one that Anna took directly, then that's the initial step for getting the green card. And that will lead to the green card in a lot faster manner. So either direction, it will get to the green card as far as timing. It just depends on which one you applied okay, for. Okay, so tanongin nyo po yung inyong immigration attorney para malaman nyo po yung length of time. Uh, let's move on. Kasama natin si Cynthia mula sa Morieta. Cynthia? Yeah, and Yes. Oh. Uh, my question is uh, my son become a US citizen before he turns 18 through me. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to know if they can apply a uh, certificate of citizenship as a proof aside from passport that they are a US citizen. Now they become adults. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, of course. You, you can get both uh, both things. Uh, the uh, certificate of natural of citizenship comes from the uh, USCIS, so that's uh, one agency, and the Department of State issues passports. Um, it's uh, some people choose to just get a passport because it's a little bit uh, easier, but always having a certificate of citizenship, particularly in a difficult case when there's been some reasons, the evidence back and forth, and you had to prove your case, that getting a certificate of citizenship is a good idea, because that's the the immigration service is the one that's showing that you you can use that to get a passport. So it's just a matter of applying if he's already automatically become a U.S. citizen because his parents became U.S. citizens while he was under the age of 18 and a permanent resident here in the United States, then he just applies for a certificate of citizenship. So okay. he, he doesn't have to take the test or anything like that. They're just showing that he met the conditions. All right. Okay. Uh, kasama naman natin ngayon si Rosalo mula sa Newport Beach dito sa California. Rosalo, nandiyan ka ba? Yes, andito na ako. Okay, ano pong tanong ninyo ngayong araw na to? Ito, ito. Nagamit ng re-entry after two years. Re-entry permit? Re-entry permit, yes. Okay. Uh, nagamit na after two years. Okay. Hindi so, naman siya pumunta ulit sa Pilipinas. Uh, two, two weeks stay lang. Okay, so tourist stay lang kayo dito o doon? Uh, two weeks stay lang doon sa Pilipinas, tapos pwede ba ba siya bumalik, pero nagamit na yung re-entry eh. Okay, so um, they have a re-entry permit, but uh, he already used it, and he's back in the Philippines. Can he use it to come back? Well, in order to come back into the United States with the re-entry permit, the re-entry permit has to be valid. So there is generally a two-year time period that the re-entry permit is valid. 
Um, the greater question is, can he just come back with his green card? Because the reentry permit is a document that's issued to green card holders when they are um, anticipating being outside of the United States for a lengthier period of time, generally more than one year. Mm -hmm. And so even though the reentry permit is no longer valid or may not be valid, the greater question is, can he just use his green card to come back in? And uh, that would re require a little bit of analysis to see whether that is going to be, if possible, but as to the difficulty that he'll encounter when he is at the border, that's the, that's the question that we need to assess. Yes, and, and you want to avoid that at all costs because really when you're at the border, that could be very yeah, traumatic to be like, sorry, can't come in, go back. So we, we don't want to do that, right? We want to make sure that um, uh, we are informed. Okay, pagbalik po natin, kasama pa rin natin si Attorney Allison Aquino-Silva and Attorney Richard Lowe of Aquino and Lowe. We'll be right back.